Georgia's parliament has approved a controversial law that has sparked weeks of protests. Police have confronted demonstrators outside parliament, where lawmakers also clashed before the vote. Critics of the ruling Georgian Dream Party fear the so-called foreign influence bill will be used to stamp out dissent and will dent Georgia's hopes of joining the European Union. The legislation requires media and other groups to register as pursuing the interests of a foreign power if they get more than 20% of their funding from abroad. Debate in Georgia's parliament descended into an all-out brawl as the so-called Russian law passed its third and final reading. Another milestone for a controversial bill which has sparked weeks of mass protests. Outside, crowds again voiced their opposition, arguing the law will be used to suppress political dissent, moving Georgia away from its EU aspirations and towards Russia. The thing is we're protesting against Russian law, but in reality we're protesting about, uh, against Russian regime because we've been through this, Georgia has been through this, uh, in occupation of Russia physically and mentally always for the centuries, and we're not going to let our government finally decide this. When you want to go to Europe and your friend Europe tells you not to take this law, you should not take this law. So. The ruling Georgian Dream Party insists it's committed to European integration and rejects comparisons between this bill requiring organisations receiving more than 20% of funding from abroad to register as agents of foreign influence and laws in Russia. Uh, branding or labelling this law as a Russian law doesn't lead to a constructive engagement because this law has nothing to do with, uh, with Russian law. Having passed its third reading, the bill now goes to the president, who has said she will veto it. But that will likely only cause a delay. The government says it plans to use its majority to override any veto before the law is officially adopted. And we have our correspondent Maria Katamadze in Tbilisi, where we saw these protests outside parliament after it approved this controversial legislation. Maria, tell us what you have been seeing there. Well, the protest is indeed still in go, and you can see that the riot police is lined up at the Parliament Square. They're ready to disperse the crowd at any uh, moment. Uh, just a couple of minutes uh, ago, the uh, riot police just erupted from the Parliament building and started to try to disperse the crowd. But uh, the people, the protesters, they, they won't leave the square. They, they're staying here in, despite the, the rain and despite having spent days and some of them weeks here at the Parliament Square protesting against the so-called foreign agent bill. Uh, you can't see this at, at this moment, but behind our camera there is a there is a sea of people who are, who, are, who are standing here and they say that they will not uh, leave the square. Uh, even though the government uh, adopted the bill, they say that this is the show of their, their protest against this bill, which they see as a danger to their freedom, democracy, EU integration. They say that they will not allow the government to jeopardize their future within the EU. And Maria, we've seen many big protests in Tbilisi over this bill over the past few weeks. Do you get the sense that things are now escalating there among the protesters? It, it should be noted that the protesters are very peaceful, so they are not demanding the change of the government. They are behaving very peacefully here. They are just standing at the Parliament Square and uh, just showing that they are not happy with what the government did. And uh, they say that the uh, next elections in October are going to be crucial for this bill and for the government that decided to adopt this bill. They see it as a many of the protesters. They see it as a uh, as they've been telling me. They see the MPs who waited who voted in favor of the bill as, quote, traitors. So it's the tensions are running very high, but the protesters, they're determined to, to, to stay peaceful and not to uh, provoke uh, the, the police to act. You can see that the police is also standing still and, uh, yeah, at any time they can be dispersed of the crowd. We've just been looking at some live footage from Tbilisi, Maria, where we saw at least a couple of protesters wearing uh, flags of the European Union. We know the governing party, Georgian Dream, says that it is committed 
to joining the EU despite trying to push through this law. Uh, what makes them so sure that Georgia's EU membership could not be at risk with this move? Indeed, the government reaffirms that they're, they're going to be part of the European Union by the end of 2030. Uh, they say that they're still committed to the EU path despite the criticisms from Brussels, from Brussels, despite uh, the Western officials slamming this bill and saying that it would be very difficult for Georgia to, to open the uh, EU uh, accession talks. And uh, many protesters here say that the government is not genuine in their in their rhetoric about joining the EU. They say that this is something that the government has to cater to the majority of the Georgians who aspire to be the European Union to retain power in this country. So many protesters here believe that their government is acting in the interest of the Russian state. That's what uh, people have been telling me here. They say that they see, at least people who gathered here, they see this government as uh, pro-Russian. And uh, they say that behind this bill is the uh, Russia-made uh, billionaire, Bidzine Vanishvili, who is uh, de facto ruling of the country, who is pulling the strings behind the curtains and who is, well, if we, if we, if we consider the protesters' opinion, who is behind this bill. So they say that it's a very dangerous authoritarian shift for their country and that's why they're, they, they're staying uh, on the streets and uh, showing the world that they're not happy with the actions of their government. Maria, thank you so much for that. That is our correspondent, Maria Katamadze in Tbilisi. We're going to return now to our top story. Georgia's parliament has approved a controversial law that has sparked weeks of protest. Police have confronted demonstrators outside parliament, where lawmakers had also clashed before the vote took place. Now, critics of the ruling Georgian Dream Party fear the so-called foreign influence bill will be used to stamp out dissent and could dent Georgia's hopes of joining the European Union. I'd like to come back to our correspondent, Maria Katamadze, in, uh, outside of the Georgian parliament in Tbilisi for us. Maria, give us an update. What is the latest that you're seeing on the ground? Well, the riot police is still mobilized at the Parliament Square. You can see that they are lined up here, blocking the uh, the main road. Uh, down there, down the road, there is also water cannon mobilized, ready to disperse crowd at any at any time. Now, I will ask my camera to show you the crowd. There are thousands of people here at Parliament Square. Some of them they've been they've been spending here weeks and days, uh, despite the bad weather, despite the rain, they say that the future of their country is at stake. They say that by passing this bill, the government is essentially uh, starting alienating from the West and uh, coming closer to Russia. They believe that they have to protest, even though the bill is adopted, to show the West and the world that they're not happy with the decision of uh, their government. And Maria, just before I let you go, uh, with so much at stake here, how have protesters told you what their plans are for the coming hours and days ahead? Well, some of the organizers, they've been calling for a national uh, strike uh, in Georgia. Protesters telling me that even though the bill is adopted, they say that this is not the end of the story. They say that they will come out on the streets, that they will protest again and again up to October elections uh, that's going to be crucial for the protesters here who are not happy with the bill, mm. as well as for the government. We'll see if the government will be able, despite this backlash, to retain the power or other Indeed. alternative forces will take, will take power in this country. So it remains to be seen. Maria, thank you. That's Maria Katamadze in Tbilisi.